Well, the Cyberpunk 2077 launch disaster continues, and this is probably going to be the biggest surprise of 2020 in terms of... I really did not expect this to happen. Like, I heard people joke every once in a while in the past about CDPR, they're gonna eventually tarnish the reputation, do something anti-consumer, and I just did not expect this. But regardless, Cyberpunk 2077 for a lot of players is just unplayable. That's why thousands are requesting refunds on PlayStation and Xbox right now, and these platforms are accommodating those refunds. And CD Projekt Red actually in their apology said that they're going to make this right and let people get the refunds if they don't want to give this game a chance long term, because fixes are coming, it just seems like the big significant ones are not going to be coming until January or February at the earliest of 2021, and what that means for story and free DLC, who knows, that's probably going to be delayed along with the multiplayer plans, but really at this point CD Projekt as a company is fighting for their lives. They've lost 40% of their stock value since December 4th. That is absolutely crazy and just shows how much was riding on the success of Cyberpunk 2077. They just could not afford for this to be a disaster disastrous or bad release, and it's just been exactly that. This definitely was or is one of the most highly anticipated games of all time, and I'm not going to say if it is the most highly anticipated because people seem to have a wide array of opinions on that, people seem to think I was defending the game by saying I don't think it actually is, but I, I don't know where people are finding that conclusion because I think that everything surrounding Cyberpunk 2077 is just a disaster right now. There are design elements in this game that just doesn't make sense, and especially in terms of high expectations, it wasn't just like people were getting excited because of CDPR's work on The Witcher 3. This game was marketed as the next generation of open world gaming. Everywhere in marketing it was like, this is going to be a massive experience, something that we haven't seen, but we have seen games like this. This game isn't doing much drastically different. And you could say that this is very similar in scope and, and certain elements to a lot that we saw with The Witcher 3, but there are more problems obviously, and there are lessons that definitely just didn't translate, like driving AI is a mess, NPC AI overall is just a mess, the police wanted system doesn't make any sense, there's a lack of customization, and then there's lots of theories and people investigating and believing that there's quite a bit of cut content from this game because CDPR's management just wanted to get this game out immediately when it was not ready. Anyway, as we've seen, PlayStation, we talked about this in my last video a number of hours earlier, PlayStation removed Cyberpunk 2077 from their store, and my theory, there's no definitive answer on what actually happened. CDPR put out a statement saying that a decision was made. They didn't say it was their decision to remove it from the PlayStation Store. But my sneaking suspicion still is that Sony has a very firm policy, which is once you download a game, you ain't getting your money back. But CD Projekt Red probably had some negotiations, discussions with Sony, and the conclusion was made that, hey, if you want people to get refunds, you're going to have to agree that this game was faulty, and we're going to take it off the PlayStation Store. CDPR and PlayStation or Sony don't have that connection that CDPR has with Microsoft. And actually, Microsoft has decided to take a different route. And this is something I think a lot of people prefer, but either way, Xbox support tweeted this out a little bit ago. Cyberpunk 2077, to ensure that every player can get the experience they expect on Xbox, we will be expanding our existing refund policy to offer full refunds to anyone, anyone, who purchased Cyberpunk 2077 digitally from the Microsoft Store until further notice. Well, we know the developers at CD Projekt Red have worked hard to ship Cyberpunk 2077 in extremely challenging circumstances. We also realize that some players have been unhappy with the current experience on older consoles. Well, yeah, because they lied to consumers saying that it ran surprisingly well, and it just didn't. Anyway, the statement continues. To date, we have granted refunds to the vast majority of customers who have requested one. To request an Xbox refund for Cyberpunk 2077, please follow the following steps. But yes, that is the Xbox route. They're doing it a little bit differently than what PlayStation is doing, which PlayStation's just completely delisting the game indefinitely. Who knows when the game will be back on the PlayStation Store? Could be early 2021, but according to a news report that's coming from Reuters, we actually do know that right now CD Projekt Red has not had talks with Microsoft about Cyberpunk 2077 being delisted, like has been the case on PlayStation. CEO Adam Kaczynski saying in a statement, we are not in such discussions with Microsoft at the moment, although the at the moment is kind of interesting. Also, quick update as of recording this video, the official Cyberpunk 2077 social media accounts put out another statement on the yellow background, in which they pretty much just confirmed that they are trying to make sure everybody gets refunds. They say that their intention is for every owner of a physical copy or digital copy who wants a refund will get it. And they said that they will be doing this out of their own pocket if necessary. That's the correct decision, and considering the circumstances of this 
just chaotic mess of a launch, this is the right move by CD Projekt Red, at least in this respect. With this whole mess, I really feel for the developers at CD Projekt Red because a lot of them knew the problems, they were setting off the alarm, and nobody was listening in management because as CD Projekt Red's executives admitted to investors earlier in the week, they just wanted to get this game out, they wanted to release it. That promise of coming when it's ready, I guess it didn't matter in this final stretch because of holiday shoppers, but Bloomberg's Jason Schreier has provided a new report inside on what's going on inside of CD Projekt Red right now, and it truly is everything that I kind of expected because developers are absolutely pissed with management and they express that directly to them. So Jason Schreier reports rebellion is in the air at Polish video game publisher CD Projekt after the company's highly anticipated and thrice delayed latest title was released to scathing reviews about glitches. Frustrated and angry staff fired questions at the board during an internal video meeting Thursday that opened with management apologizing for Cyberpunk 2077's disastrous launch according to two people who were present and might I add that I personally think that some of these executives just gotta go. Like, The Witcher 3's development, I think a lot of people forget this, but it was also a pretty big disaster. Like, CD Projekt Red lost a lot of key staff, and they didn't really change their ways much, and it's continued to get worse with Cyberpunk 2077. That's why I'm also especially concerned about them messing around with anything live service right now. But... The developers have been screwed over and also consumers because they were lied to with what this experience was going to be and it seems like a lot of the developers were like yeah expectations were way too high and management they knew it but they didn't say anything which is just astonishing so yes i think that some of these executives got to go but with developers like a lot of these people were expecting giant bonuses with a massive success for this game and now a lot of them are going to be missing out so i think i can understand why a lot of them are absolutely livid especially since a lot of them have been putting in tons and tons of hours crunching on this game for years and now it's probably to, a lot of them just doesn't seem like it was worth it i've seen some developers on social media really just expressing their sadness and depression overall of this but either way let's continue with this because there is more developers asked blunt questions about the company's reputation the game's unrealistic deadlines and the relentless overtime in the months and years leading up to the game's december 10th release the meeting took place before sony's shocking announcement that it was pulling cyberpunk 2077 from the playstation store and will offer full refunds to any customer who requests one. During the staff meeting, CD Projekt's directors said they had come to an arrangement with Sony but did not offer specifics. And again, my sneaking suspicion is that Sony presented two options for CD Projekt Red. Nobody's getting refunds or people are going to be getting refunds but we're taking it off the PlayStation Store as you're admitting that this is a faulty experience and that's, well, that's what happened. Now it continues, it says in a Twitter post on Friday, the company said that following our discussion with PlayStation, a decision was made to temporarily suspend digital distribution of the game. Then it continues, Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the biggest games of the year and has been a financial success, selling more than 8 million pre-orders and notching sales records for PC games. And as a lot of you pointed out in my last video's comment sections, this is the evidence that all you need that expectations were through the roof and we can all admit that CD Projekt Red just did not deliver and this has been one of the big messes in years. But players have found the game full of bugs, particularly on the last generation PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles, sending CD Projekt shares plummeting. And what I mean plummeting, this company is just falling apart right now, and I really am concerned if they'll even be able to uh, keep it going, but uh, we'll see what happens. I guess it really depends how much they can do in 2021 in terms of fixing it up and then delivering new content. And that continues, Bloomberg's report says, and leading fans and critics to describe Cyberpunk 2077 as unfinished. And, th and that's exactly what it is. It is an unfinished, rush release that needed another five six months of development and overhauls of some of the systems which are just very very serviceable and very dated now cd project stock fell 12 percent in warsaw friday i think it's like up to 22 percent now punctuating a steady decline this month that has wiped out gains for the year during cyberpunk 2077's development staff endured multiple periods of extensive overtime including mandatory six-day weeks to finish the game bloomberg has reported when asked about this crunch time in the qa the director said that they had plans to improve production practices in the future but did not elaborate, according to one person who was there. Now this is pretty crazy, but one employee asked the board why it had said in January that the game was complete and playable, when that 
was not true. So we're actually now seeing that CD Projekt Red has been lying about the state of Cyberpunk 2077 for a while now. But this continues, to which the board answered that it would take responsibility. Another developer asked whether CD Projekt's directors felt it was hypocritical to make a game about corporate exploitation while expecting that their employees work overtime. The response was vague and non-committal. Many industry observers have wondered why Cyberpunk 2077, which was first announced in 2012 and was delayed three times in 2020, still appears to be unfinished. It's called mismanagement. Several current and former staff who worked on Cyberpunk 2077 have all said that the same thing. The game's deadlines set by the board of directors were always unrealistic. It was clear to many of the developers that they needed more time. And I think there's actually one thing that I mistakenly say a lot, that this game's been in development for eight years. The game's been in pre-production from 2012 to 2016, but in actual full production only from 2016 mid-year to now here in 2020, so four to five years. Which is still a considerable amount of time, probably more than most AAA development of games, but Cyberpunk 2077 was so highly anticipated that it really should have just came out when it was ready, like the promise that CD Projekt Red made from the get-go. And Gary Whitta, one of the writers on Star Wars Rogue One, actually came out with a tweet which I feel like sums up a lot of my thoughts. He says, I feel terrible for the cyberpunk devs, working their hearts out for a decade only to have ashes as the reward. This is uncorporate. Who knew the game wasn't shippable, but shipped it anyway? This will go down as one of the great unforced errors in video game history. Alas. And to be honest, Cyberpunk 2077, if they just waited, like I don't really understand the rush. Why rush this game out? Why not make sure it's perfection? Because they had to have expected or known that there was going to be uproar over the state of the game. Like, do they not look around at the rest of this industry? I keep on having to say this, but every single release, Marvel's Avengers, the latest one, do we just not pay attention to what the rest of this industry is doing? Do we not learn lessons? Like, I don't know why I have to keep on saying this. I said this with Bethesda with Fallout 76, and God help, I really hope that they learn that lesson with Starfield, but CD Projekt Red what are you doing? Like, are you just not paying attention to the rest of this industry and the chaos that has transpired with so many releases? The AAA live service disasters? And yes, this isn't a live service, but it certainly is a disaster right now. What's frustrating about Cyberpunk 2077 is that I see the potential. There are flaws, there are issues. But if this game had extra development time, an extra year, I think a lot of these issues would have been resolved. But now, this company is going to be rushing through 2021 to rebuild their reputation and I don't know if they'll ever get that trust back, and they probably won't. There's always going to be a layer of skepticism, which is just so unfortunate, and really, just don't pre-order games, people. Please don't. Cyberpunk 2077 is just the golden example of an experience that, uh, yeah, CD Projekt Red used their goodwill to get people to pre-order, and unfortunately, they did not deliver. And they also lied up until the launch by concealing that console footage, then misleading consumers by telling them, yeah, the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 run surprisingly well, when they knew, they knew for a fact that it didn't, but made sure that reviewers did not get access to console codes until launch. But even with saying Cyberpunk 2077 had potential, this also has to be factored into it, but it's the mismanagement. Like, there clearly has to be some change going on within that studio, because this cannot continue. And I don't know who's gotta be, you know, let go, but somebody has to. Some of the executives gotta go, because I don't trust what this company will do moving forward. Of course, I am excited for the future of Cyberpunk 2077 in terms of the narrative content that can be delivered, because they have some remarkable, talented story and uh, writing teams at CDPR. The environmental artists do a phenomenal job, and the quest team, I think, did a great job. But there's got to be some change with leadership because it's clearly not working, and it did not work with Cyberpunk 2077, as that executive team failed consumers and failed the developers. But if there is one good thing that I can say about this whole situation, it's the fact that everybody's getting their refunds. So if the game is unplayable for you, you deserve to get your money back, and you are getting your money back. Fortunately, you won't have to go through the lawsuit process, which unfortunately, uh, some other AAA developers and publishers force consumers to go that route. And I think you guys have a good idea of who I'm actually referring to with that remark, but some of this damage with CD Projekt Red is going to last a long time. Like right now, their stock is taking a beating. As Market Insider reports, CD Projekt shares plunged as much as 22% to a 9-month low on Friday as the Polish game studio suffered fresh backlash to its release of a bug-ridden Cyberpunk 2077 last week. Sony announced on Friday that it was pulling the video game from its PlayStation Store and offering full refunds to players following a wave of complaints about the long-awaited title. The news erased the equivalent of $1.8 billion from CD Projekt's market capitalization. And I'm pretty sure the executives at CD Projekt Red have now lost around $2 billion in value of their stock and 
just crazy the damage that they've suffered from poor decisions but even furthermore some of the lasting damage is going to be on cyberpunk 2077 in which the open critic review score has now plummeted down to 71 percent of critics recommending the experience i believe at its height it was at 97 or 95 and then the top average critic score is now down to 81 originally it was at around a 90 91 and then on metacritic it's even worse because the playstation 4 now has 19 critic reviews and the average score is right there with fallout 76 with a 54 Five. Same score, I believe, for the Xbox One, and the reviews are... They're brutal. One of Poland's biggest gaming websites, Gry Online, said Cyberpunk 2077 on PS4 is a disaster that should have never, ever occurred. I agree. They honestly should have just cancelled the last-gen versions if it was going to be this bad. The developers have butchered the technical condition of the game. The only positive thing about the PS4 version is that you can, with a bit of luck and patience, eventually finish it. There's no doubt CDPR will have to redeem itself somehow. But remember, somewhere underneath the utter myriad of bugs hides an excellent game, and they gave the game a 30 out of 100 for the PlayStation 4 review. Cultured Vultures gave the game a 60, saying a lack of focus, vague combat, and some truly befuddling performance issues hamper the still competent and often enjoyable detective sim that the best parts of Cyberpunk 2077 wants to be. The French gaming website Gameblog says, Don't even think about playing Cyberpunk 2077 on base PS4. Its performance is awful. Of course, no one can expect a game to run like it does on a good PC, where it is a stellar experience, but what we feel is that this version was abandoned. No effort was put into it. Blurry not very smooth, suffering from NPCs that just pop or have no faces for a couple of seconds, I've seen that. It also feels very empty, which obliterates its positive qualities. Not to mention the myriad of glitches and hiccups that are probably less evident on PS4 Pro or PS5, but which makes us say that you need a computer, or if everything goes well, wait for the next-gen versions if you want to have a real taste of Cyberpunk 2077 that gave the game a 40. And that seems to be the theme of a lot of these reviews for consoles. It's like, yeah, we actually think that this game's pretty good good, but with all the issues and everything that's problematic with Cyberpunk 2077, yeah, this game's just do not recommend, do not play it on consoles, and it's just so unfortunate because I, again, feel like there's an alternate reality in which this game releases six months to a year from now, in which CDPR's management competently handles all of this, and they don't actually delay the game multiple times throughout the year, like they start off 2020 and just say, no, we're going to delay the game a year until April 2021. And in that reality, I assume that Cyberpunk 2077 comes out, people still have complaints about some of the uh, design issues with it, but for the most part, it's well received. But now we're living in this reality which is the dark one of 2020 in which nope the game's just a mess it is a total disaster and it's going to take years and lots of work for CD Projekt Red to improve and rebuild that reputation and it may never be back to what it was now because CD Projekt Red was the golden child of this industry the one publisher that uh, did not act like the rest of this industry but now well they've just done that and you could argue it's even worse Anyway, Cyberpunk 2077, maybe it eventually will get that No Man's Sky treatment or maybe a Realm Reborn. Who knows what 2021 in the future does entail, because as I've said before, there are parts of this game that I absolutely love, and I do see the potential, especially with Pan Am, my god. But uh, Cyberpunk 2077, a lot of issues going on right now. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we did discuss today down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video, or if you found any informative value, and make sure to follow my other social media accounts for updates on new videos. Links are always down in the description below. I'm most active on Twitter, giving opinions on news that I do not always get into video form, so do make sure to follow me over there. Also check out my Discord for all sorts of discussion on games. And again, thank you for joining. Consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.